I'm Brittany with Tech Tips, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to create your own Pokemon Quick Searches. One of the coolest updates was one that gave us access to these quick search buttons. You hit a button and it's finding you a legendary, but there are more options than just these buttons, or even the see more expanded options. There are a whole bunch of ways you can combine these different options to quickly find exactly what you need. Even before there were buttons, there were quite a few search terms that you could look up. If you knew the fancy operators, you could make it even more complex. But it's annoying to type those all the time and hard to remember exactly what operator goes where if you aren't accustomed to that type of search. So let's talk about making that faster and easier, but also customized for what you need. You just go into the settings, into general, keyboard, text replacement, and you hit the plus sign. The phrase is gonna be what you want those final search terms to be. Let's say I did a whole batch of trading and I don't like to evaluate them one at a time after each trade. I just wanna trash them wholesale and only have to go through the ones that might be good. I'm gonna use the phrase traded. The ampersand means I want it to be traded and also have these other qualities. Be zero star, the or is a colon, one star, another or colon, two star. And then you pick a shortcut. Because these text replacements are all over your iPhone, not just in Pokemon Go, you wanna make sure it's something that won't be confused with a real word. The thing I really don't wanna have happen is to have it text my special someone a bunch of Pokemon Go search nonsense. Because in English, Q is a real letter, it's easily accessed from the main page, but it usually needs a U after it to make a real word. I use a Q and then a thing I'll remember so I can have it fill out. I'll show you what I mean. For the text shortcut, that means what you're gonna type instead of the nonsense. I'm going to type Q and then PO for Pokemon, but also because they're right next to each other, and then T for traded. So it looks like QPOT, but for me it works so I can remember it. The only thing that matters is that you remember it. And I hit save. Here's my text replacement. Let's try it out. I go back to Pokemon and I type QPOT and space. There's a bunch of crap that I traded and is not any good. So I can just tap and hold and transfer all that nonsense. Transfer now. And there you go. I'll post a link in the description for some of the sources for those expanded search terms. And then you too can make your own custom Pokemon search criteria for whatever you need it for. All right, go out and catch them all. Blue milk cow? No blue milk cow for me.